Over 40 and thinking about being a faceless creator? When you're a faceless creator, folks can project whatever traits they want onto you, so faceless creators naturally appeal to a larger audience. Going faceless also has the benefit of maintaining your privacy if your channel gets really big so you'll not be recognized in public or when walking down the street as compared to promoting yourself and your experience and skills, creating a brand with a face channel. Being faceless on Instagram and TikTok is not the same as being faceless on YouTube. Why would people choose to go faceless on a video medium? Have you noticed this happening? What do you think about it? Why do you think people are choosing to go faceless? I feel we are witnessing a really big shift in internet culture right now and faceless creators are a big part of it because I've seen it absolutely everywhere and there have been so many faceless creators popping up in my feed. From an engagement perspective, I found that my face on the channel often does better since viewers generally connect more with the person behind the information as compared to a faceless channel. I found my subscriber base quickly jumped when I started doing face videos as compared to faceless. What do you think? Comment below and remember to smash that subscribe button for more video content.